Hi everybody, um, just thought I'd do a video on my brake pad change. Um, I've had a go at trying to film and talk doing the procedure myself, but I'm afraid I'm not very good at that and it came out a bit of a mess. But I will put a link to a French video I came across on YouTube, which goes through the whole process. I'm just going to give you a little chat about my, uh, my observations whilst doing it. There's the component parts of the uh, replacement pads. Um, I've chosen to go with Honda's original equipment pads there. Um, and as you can see, there's actually two sets there, a larger set and a bigger set. On the um, near side or left hand side of the bike as you sit on it, the top two pads come into operation when you press the rear brake. And um, whilst I've found on, the, uh, on this side, the right hand side, that the pads have worn similar to the uh, the larger ones. Uh, what I've looked at on the uh, the other side is the obviously the, these pads aren't worn as much because they only come on with that uh, with that rear brake. So I've took an opportunity to clean up some of the pins and the retaining clips. I'm also showing you there. I said in one of my previous videos that I replaced the caliper bolts with these stainless steel ones. See the drilled, they're obviously from a race type company. But I'm not too happy with them, I'm going to change them because as you can see the heads are a little bit smaller and um, I just prefer every, everything to be pretty much standard. So I may just go back to originals on that. Um, but just a little point about these retaining pins for the pads. You can see there, can't find my finger, see that little ridge? Don't know whether that's anything to be concerned about. I don't think the pads will move about too much. But if anybody can comment on that, you know, whether I should replace them, I'd, uh, I'd be pleased to know your thoughts on that. I don't know if these pads are original. They may be, you know, but I thought there'd be less on them than that, you know, compared to the new. But uh, they haven't worn that much at all. But as it was winter and I normally service the bag, I thought I'd, I'd give them a change and give the calipers an inspection at the same time. So it's a pretty straightforward job and as I say the French video I'll give you a link to because there isn't that much on YouTube about pads for the VFR. What, what little tip can I give you? Well not a lot really apart from um, these retaining bolts that I'd mentioned for the pads that that have uh, the groove in. Um, what I've found is it's I think it's easier to take these off before the calibre bolts themselves just because you get a better purchase on them whilst they're attached to the bike. Um, you can see it's a threaded boss for about, I don't know, is that about 10 mil or something? Um, and what you'll find is you'll, you'll release the thread and then you have to tap out this from the other side if, it, if indeed it doesn't pull out because it might be, might be stuck with brake dust and everything, everything like that. Um, but as I say, for, for those of you that have already done it yourself, pretty straightforward job. Um, and I'll be pushing them pistons back in a little bit more than they are now to fit the new pads. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll put, use the old pads uh, to lever the pistons back. I won't do it while the new pads are in. I don't wish to, to damage them. Um, so that's all I can say really. Pretty straightforward job. But unfortunately I just couldn't film and do it at the same time. So I'm just going to crack on and finish it off now. But any questions, please give me a comment. Thanks again for watching. Bye.